I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw New Year 2023. I come over to the left, right about there, and I put a dot, and I'm going to draw the number 2, then I'm going to draw a 0, then I'm going to draw a number 2, and then I'm going to draw a number 3. I'm going to start over here on the left and I'm going to put a dot and from that dot I draw a curve line up, down, up, connect. I come down to this space and I put a dot and I draw a curve line up, down, up, connect. I come over to this space right here and I put another dot and I draw a curve line up, down, up, connect. I come up on top of over here and I put a dot and I draw a curve line up, down, up, connect. I come down to this space and I put a dot and I'm going to draw a curve line up, down, up, connect. Come back on top over here and I'm going to draw curve line up, down, up, connect. And one more, if you have room, put a dot, curve line down, up, up, connect. I go back to my first one and I put a dot. I put one, two, three curve lines. I put a little straight line out, little straight line out, curve line, curve line. Come down to this one. One, two, three curve lines. Put a dot, curve line, curve line, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down. Come over to this one. One, two, three curve lines. Put a dot, one, two, three curve lines, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down. Come up to this one. One, two, three curve lines. Put a dot. Straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, one, two, three, curve lines. Come down here to this one, one, two, three curve lines, put a dot, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, curve line, curve line, curve line. Come up to the top, one, two, three curve lines, put a dot, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, curve line, curve line, curve line. Last one, if you did it, one, two, three curve lines, put a dot, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, one, two, three, little curve lines. Now, starting over here, we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, following the line I drew for two. Come up here, we're going to do zero. And this is an interesting technique for you to learn how to do. For this we're doing 2023, but you could still use this for spelling out a word or a name. Following the line that you drew first and then drawing a curved line, almost like a border on it. One more. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Jump over, curve line, curve line, curve line. Okay. Now we're going to do the opposite side and we're going to skip over a space if it crashes into one of our other objects, but you want to follow it around. On this one we will do the inside. Keep going, keep going, keep going. 
like I said, you want to see where you're going. Don't crash into any of your other spaces. Keep going. Jump over. Don't draw through your drawing. Keep going. Curve lines all the way down, around, and connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, to color this in, I kept it real simple. I'm just going to put a little bit of orange at each one of my beaks, just inside. Then, I took a red and lightly I'm going to color each one of these spaces. Do not color so dark you lose your drawing because these are pretty little. So I'm gonna just going to take red, carefully color each one of these spaces. You may choose any colors that you wish. These are the ones that I chose. You're the artist, it's up to you. But I, I keep it pretty simple. But then again, maybe it would look good all different colors. Who knows, your choice. But I did these light red. And like I said, really the emphasis on any of the colors is just to make sure you don't do it so dark you lose your drawings. Okay, next, green. All of these little curved lines now need to be colored in with your color. I chose green. You might want to choose a different color. Choose a different green even. Working my way down and around. Now, if you have fancy crayons, you've got metallics, like golds and silver, or even if you have markers. You can do the exact same project, the exact same drawing, and just carefully color it in using those other pro, uh, techniques. This would look really good with um, marker. But I have zero, so I'm just going to use what I do have, and what I do have is fabulous. So get those crayons out. Crayons are great. Okay, now I'm coloring this pretty dark because I kind of want it to pop. So it's taking me a little bit longer. All the time I have people say, slow down, slow down, you're going too fast. When that happens, just use your stop button till you catch up with me. I'm limited sometimes on how much how long I can make my videos. Okay. And you figure that everybody, you assume that everybody will color, but I'll tell you something funny from teaching. If I stopped right there, all the things I would get from my kids would stop right there too. So you got to color the whole entire piece. All the way down, around, and up. Last thing, as always, yellow straight lines. To fill in the background, I have a real aversion to white paper. Not all the time, but sometimes. So fill in your background using any color you want. I used yellow. So. Happy New Year again. This is another look. 2023. Alright, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here is 2023 all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.